Hi friends, Heather here. Last time we chatted, it was in the greenhouse and I had just le uh, like shoveled out a bunch of soil that was in the top layer of the raised beds. And I still haven't done anything with that yet, but hopefully this week I'm going to get to it. I'm eager to get started gardening though and planting. And where I live, the weather is conducive to <laughs> gardening in January, um, or at least starting to garden in January. So I'm eager to get my seeds planted and I'm gonna try to be thrifty this year and grow as much as I can from seed. I've already planted a few items in the like the black seed packages that have multiple slots per, <laughs> what is that like called this? Per tray, I guess. But I had far more seeds than I had those little black packets and I really just couldn't justify buying more of that plastic seed starter stuff and I kind of like used some old pots that I had but also that didn't seem quite right and so I something jogged my memory that I thought I could probably use paper towel rolls or toilet paper rolls um, as the seed starter thing. You put the dirt in there and the little seed down in it and you can put the whole thing into the soil and so I googled it and it turns out that's true. I'm, I haven't really done that before, uh, but I wanted to try it this year. And it just so happened that I've been saving toilet paper rolls and paper towel rolls for this art project that I have never done. Uh, I need seed starters and I have a, a drawer and a box full of these tubes. So I'm gonna use these tonight and create little capsules so that tomorrow I can put the seeds in them. I figured I would just show you the process and you can follow along and do this at home and I think pretty much that one seed or maybe two seeds would go into each pod so it is a little bit of work but it's fun and I just have on music um, but you can put on like an audiobook which is sometimes fun to listen to or another YouTube channel and have this in the back as you prep for springtime. Okay, so there's a couple ways to do this. It's pretty easy. Basically you take the tube and then you just slice <laughs> you cut the um, tube into little pieces, like five or six. You don't really have to be accurate. Some people like to measure it. I don't really care. Um, so yeah, you can see I have all these little flaps. And then basically you fold this down like this into the middle so that you create this little bottom. And <laughs> uh, I don't, again, I don't really care if mine are stable or not um, on the bottom. It's kind of like leaning but that's fine for me. Um, and one tip though that I realized was you could like make the cuts all at once and then do the folds all at once, very Henry Ford assembly line type of process at least. And it does make it go a little bit faster so you can just line them up like that. Another technique that I saw online uh, was to make them more square. So you can fold it like this and either fold it then again in half to create the four sides so that when you would open it up you might have to like crease it again it would be more of a square or again I'm very just like let's just do this you crease it once you open it up and then you crease it back on itself like that and again it's just kind of a guesstimate doesn't matter. These are going into the ground. It doesn't have to be fancy. And then you just uh, make cuts maybe like an inch up, maybe three quarters of an inch up on each side or each corner. And then you fold them in so it'll kind of like match the distance between this side and that side. And this one only has four cuts but it does take about the same amount of time for me to make one of these as it does to make just one of the round ones. They're pretty much the same size. Um, but if you are like, <laughs> I was like really crooked. Oh well, again, it doesn't matter to me. Um, if you're finicky, you can take a ruler and measure it. Uh, but like I said, I figured these are just going into the ground. So say la vie. Um, one thing though that was a tip that I haven't tried yet, but I will definitely let you know if I do, is to take the, let me get one that doesn't have toilet paper on it, that's cool. Take one of these and um, you can dip it in water and like maybe up to here. 
uh, so that it gets wet, and so then and then you li li line it up in a tray overnight. And apparently, what's supposed to happen is that this is supposed to kind of like get mushy <laughs> and then dry back together, so that when you are ready to use it and put soil in, and then your seed, it'll stay. There won't be any flaps that kind of like um, come open like this. Uh, it'll just like stay down. So again, that would be with using water. I will try that in a little bit and I'll show you there. All right, folks, here's the deal. I've got my bowl of water here. I've got my dry um, but folded down seed pods. So I'm gonna now try to put them in the water <clears throat> and get them a little damp. And I guess what's gonna happen is folding these down like this and resting them, like, here, I'll put it here so you can see. Resting them on this cookie sheet is going to, like, seal. <laughs> That's funny. Um, it, like, shot out water even though it's cardboard. Okay. Um, it's going to seal, apparently, the little ends so that they don't have this flap, um, but rather the flap will stay down. So we have our seed holders here made from cardboard, recycled cardboard tubes, both ta um, paper towel and toilet paper. And if you remember the last kind of phase of this um, project, I was cutting these and folding them and then dipping them in water so that they would hold their shape and not have like extra little flaps at the end. So I wanted to show you kind of what the results were from that. I made two trays worth as you and uh, I feel like it wasn't quite as successful as I thought it would be. I thought that, for example, let me put this down. I thought that this would completely, um, sh like, seal shut. This was just kind of tucked under a little corner heel here. Uh, but I thought that it would just, like, I don't know, mesh together. Uh, same with this. See, like, you can still flap it open. But I guess the point is that it's just not just, like it still holds its shape, you know? I guess the point is that it still holds its shape and that's good and that's all we need. And again, they're just going in the ground and I think I'm even supposed to cut the end off to let the roots kind of go into the soil once I plant them. Um, so I guess it was, I'll say it's a success. <laughs> Not exactly what I thought it was gonna be, like I said, but now we can start filling these with soil and putting little seeds in them. Yay! One reason why I wanna grow my plants from seed this year is because number one, it's a little more economical and number two, it's a fun challenge. So going into the first option, um, if I were to uh, select a s packet of starts, it would cost around anywhere from maybe $3.99 to $7.99 or so in our area. But if I can grow the seed, from a packet of two dollars for example i can get just as many um, plants from it or really more uh, potential plants than i can from the seed starts okay so here are our seeds nice they look oops there goes one they look green still um i guess that's good so i'm just going to kind of put them on top of each um tube first. And I'm just going to put one per tube because this is a pretty small growing space. It's kind of wobbly, huh? Um, and I'm not going to push them down quite yet into the soil just so that I can remember like which exact ones I have planted with peas. And I have a lot of pea seeds and I also really love peas. So I'm just going to go for it. And then I guess what I could do is maybe save these for later um, in the season, and I could try planting them again for like a later, um, yield. Okay, what's next? Let's do Swiss chard. 50 seeds from 2021. Cool. I feel like some seeds look like little alien pods. It's calendula seeds definitely look like that. And chard seeds do too, kind of. I'll show you. Okay. So they're round and small. <laughs> Can you even see that? Oh my goodness, no. Look like little aliens. And I was telling my husband recently that I feel like if aliens needed to like grow, propagate on Earth, <laughs> one really good way would be to come disguised as 
seeds or bulbs because there would be avid gardeners who would want to just experiment and see what they could grow. And like, for example, I just recently took some um, seeds or some bulbs just from like someone's wheel wheelbarrow that they had sitting outside of their house that was like advertising you could take these bulbs for free because they were thinning their garden. But I thought, oh my gosh, what if aliens lived here? They could <laughs> just like fill up that same thing, like a neighbor, it's, it would seem like a neighborhood good, um, do good, like situation, but really they would be using the neighborhood gardens to grow their own little alien babies. These are the things I think about. Okay, I definitely got a little carried away with the chard because I was talking about alien babies. So let me show you what I have so far. This is all, like, all of from here up is all chard. And I definitely do not need that many plants. Um, but I guess it's fine. <laughs> we'll see. And I, I can always thin these two, uh, which will help to, um, like, give the nutrients to multiple, or to just to the one. So see how I have multiple seeds in this one? Like, for example, if they all pop up, but this one's the most hardy, I would thin it to have just that one be there. Uh, okay, and then down here I have a lot of peas. And same thing, I guess I could always thin them, but mostly it's one per tube. And then this is kind of exciting. I had planted these earlier, and, like, I'm pretty bad about watering, which is not great to be for an aspiring gardener, but I'm working on it. And like one or two had popped up and uh, I was like, oh cool, oh I need to go water these. And so then a couple days ago I watered and I kid you not, the next day, that one and that one and that one and that one, if you can see, and all of these popped up. So it was like, oh, just a little water is all that's needed. Okay, here's another thing about seeds. Some are so small, it is unbelievable to me how a, you know, a gigantic plant can grow from them. Here is lemon balm, for example. Do you see how tiny those seeds are? Wow. So I'm going to plant several per tube here, uh, and then what will happen is once they grow to be an inch tall, then I'm going to thin them, like I was talking about earlier, so that the strongest ones have the best chance at life. That sounds really harsh, but that's what happens in gardening. 